Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts about the Gressa Minimalist Serum Foundation. I'm Laura and you are watching Laura's Natural Life where I hope to inspire you to create your own green gorgeous life. So let's just jump right on in. So the Gressa Minimalist Serum Foundation is tone corrective. It is an oil-based serum so it also doubles as skincare if you want but it has pretty great coverage. It is certified organic and it has a really nice slippery, almost silicone-like texture, which it gets from an all natural source, which is broccoli seed oil. But what else is really cool about this is that even though it's an oil-based serum, it dries matte and not matte and flat, matte but like your skin texture. It literally melts in your skin, looks like your skin if you had a perfect flawless skin. So some of the ingredients in here, like I said, the broccoli seed extract is what really gives it the amazing texture. There's also silymarin, neem, horsetail, lemon balm, barberry, sea buckthorn, elderflower, bitter melon. It does retail for $54, so it is not a cheap one, and there's only a half ounce in here, I believe. But you only need like four to 10 drops a day, depending on what your skin is like. And if you're someone who's constantly looking for something to correct redness in your skin, you are not gonna be disappointed. This stuff corrects redness like nobody's business. It is not as great on dark circles, but redness, I think, is its sweet spot. This so. is my current favorite foundation. I think it's actually my favorite foundation I have ever used just because of how little you have to use the amazing ingredients and how it literally looks like your skin it doesn't look like you're wearing foundation at all so let's jump right into the demo i hope that it helps you and i will see you guys in the next video all right so i'm bringing you in scary close because i want you to see how well this stuff covers redness so the first thing you have to do is you have to shake this bottle and shake it and shake it and shake it because it's oil based serum with minerals in it so you really want it to mix together perfectly i like to say you've got to shake it to wake it this is my favorite way to apply it i like to take my flat top kabuki brush by elf and just drop on like four to five drops for now and then start on my cheeks where it's the most red in the center of my face and just spread that out. Now I will say this is immensely better at covering redness than it is dark circles. So if you have dark circles, you're definitely still gonna need a concealer or a corrector. But if you have redness, I mean, this does the trick. And then this is just what's left over. You can see that was four drops. Like that's insane. So then I just like to take my fingers with about two more drops um, and get just the corners right there. I'm probably gonna put some concealer on top of that today anyway, but if I was just going to work or something, I really wouldn't bother with it. And any other spots that I feel could use a tad bit of extra coverage. The thing that I don't love about using my fingers is that because it's so slippery and thin, it will like just spread down your fingers and you won't get the most bang per drop than if you used a brush because the brush does not absorb it at all, which is great in my opinion. Um, so I think that, what was that? Six drops, it might've been eight, between six to eight drops for my entire face and like that looks pretty dang full coverage to me, but it still looks like my skin, which is so, so cool. Like, I just can't get over this product. And just because I am going to be filming some more videos today, I am going to pop on a little bit of concealer. And I really love the Well People BioCorrect Concealer. If I was just like going to work or something and I wasn't um, filming for you guys, I would honestly skip this step. As you can see, it dried pretty, it dried very matte, which is cool, but it looks like your skin. It's not like matte and powdery. It is matte in the sense that it looks like your skin. And 
if you want to, if you have dry skin, you probably don't need to powder it. I do like to use powder just because it helps it last a bit longer, but it's totally your choice. It definitely doesn't need to be more matte, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of my, you know, my Ride or Die Silk Naturals under eye concealer powder, the dupe for the Anastasia Banana Powder. I haven't used this on camera in a long time, but I still use it like every stinking day. It's just the best thing. So thank you for watching. I hope that this video helps you make a decision about whether or not you wanted to try or buy the Grassa Foundation. Let me know in the comments below what you think, and I will see you in the next video.